minute of play. He says, anything you can do, Mr. Wayne, I can do better. And that's what you expect out of a star, making the big shot. They need a defensive stop. They're going to try to manage the clock, spread the court, try to eliminate double teams by getting good spacing. See, they're going to spread the court. It's either going to be Wade, Henry, or Diener handling the ball. Henry just looked over to Coach Crane for a call. Shot clock getting down toward 10. Good screen by Merritt. Open jumper, four-point game. Did I tell you who's Mr. Clutch? That kid has got ice in his veins. He's as tough and wants the ball as anybody in America late in the game. He's had some monster second halves this year. Logan is open, and he brings them back within one. That's what you expect out of Mr. Logan. Conference USA, regular season at stake. Number one seed, they're chasing Cincinnati. Cincinnati just used its final timeout. Tom Crane's Marquette Golden Eagles have the ball and a one-point lead with 22 seconds to go. You just saw both point guards come up with huge clutch shots. Both seniors, both experienced players, both guys want the ball in their hands. There they are right now. Look at Logan. Henry goes down. He goes down. Logan gets up, settles himself. Good composure, good poise, and delivers. Let's go to Michelle. Oh, this is an intense game, but do not look for Steve Logan's expression to change. After Cincinnati beat St. Louis, Billiken's head coach Lorenzo Romar said, I wonder how Steve Logan would be over in Afghanistan or somewhere. I bet he'd be pretty poised. He just does not get rattled. And I've got to tell you, as you guys can see, and I can see from where I'm sitting, his expression never changes no matter what the situation is. I know his mom jumped out of her seat at home. Melody, when he knocked that down, he told me, my mom's going to be watching on TV tonight. No timeouts, as you said there. Marquette's got one. Marquette's Cincinnati's got one. out. So Marquette, if they can't get the ball in, can use their last timeout. Yes, Cincinnati knows without a timeout. And Wade is fouled. Boy, oh boy, and he's hurt. Wade is holding his right elbow. You would imagine, though, he's going to do everything within his power to get up and shoot these free throws. Well, right now, you expected what has happened. Try to double team, try to quick steal, foul, put him on the line. Now he's got to go here and convert. He is a 71% free throw shooter on the season. That is the ninth team foul this half for Cincinnati, so it should be one and one. Well, it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, but it does not take away the chance for a two-possession game. In right. other words, the bottom line is even if he makes both, it's a one-possession game. He makes one out of two, they got a chance to win it with a three. And remember, Logan is the guy who can really shoot the three. Field Williams has checked back in for Cincinnati, a great outside shooter. Yeah, he's another weapon. He gives him that three-point shooting. The coach is thinking on that sideline. Look what he's shooting into. Rebound, little Cincinnati is going for the win. Watch for the offensive rebound. That's usually the most dangerous guy, the guy from the weak side. Look at this, Henry taking the challenge against Logan. They get it out of his hand. They get it out of his hand, out of Logan's hand. It's going to be little. Oh! Little started the game off, not fired defensively. He set the tone and he makes the big shot. They got their last time out. So they've only got one shot to get it in against the Cincinnati defense. He has been the star of stars tonight, Mr. Little, because we didn't anticipate him being this productive. He has been the surprise and a force for them offensively and defensively. He was dynamite early in this game. But now let's see what they're going to do here. Let's see how Cincinnati defends it. Get right up on the ball. 
something. Remember 92 when Kentucky and Duke played? They didn't bother the yeah, ball. You're right. Bounce. You're right. Well, they're not going to bother it either. They're going to let them throw the ball in bounds. Now there's some confusion for Cincinnati right now. Is Stokes a little bit late getting onto the floor? They're Nobody's going, on the ball. They're going five on four. Give them that quick look to the goal. Henry's got it. Cincinnati won, Marquette won this year, and you sure get the feeling they're going to play again in the championship game of this conference tournament. And it's going to be in Cincinnati. Yep, Take a look. That's right. Look at Henry. He's under control. I mean, he's right on target. Oh! Wow. Not a little. Who would have ever thought that he would have made that winning shot? What an incredible basketball game here tonight. Let's go to Michelle Tafoya standing by with Bob Huggins and Steve Logan. Uh, uh, that's right. Coach, you said coming into this game there was so much on the line, so many things at stake. Now that you've got the win, can you talk about the significance of it again and what it means? Well, it, you know, it puts us a game ahead right now, but we've got two really big games. We have to go to Lobo and we got Memphis, so... But if we, if we didn't win this one, I don't think they were going to lose. Your team attacked and attacked. They withstood every comeback that Marquette had to offer. How happy were you with their rebounding in the second half and everything that they did do well? We play hard. We played really hard all year. Sometimes we have a hard time scoring the ball, but we play really hard. And thank God we got the little guy beside you right there. All right. The little guy beside us is Steve Logan. Tough scoring in the second half. You did a lot in the first half. How were they so effective against you in the second? Well, they put a lot of guys on me. I struggled in the second half. I didn't make shots. But my teammates came through, and I hit some big shots down the stretch. Finally, you beat these guys for the first time in four tries. Can you talk about what this means to you and your teammates? Well, it was emotional. I told them this was going to be a big game for us. And everybody came out here and played up to their potential. You got to give the players some respect, and you got to give Coach Huggins a lot of respect. Congratulations on the new baby. Congratulations uh, on the win. Thank you. Back to you guys. Michelle, thank you very much. A heavily hyped game featuring two top ten teams lived up to and beyond the hype as Cincinnati wins 63-62. The AT&T long distance player of the game, Donald Little, great effort, block shots, and most importantly, the game winning jumper with only three seconds left. And he's the guy that they would have liked to see take that shot, but he was so productive early in the game. What a great environment tonight.